Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michelle Devone, and I'm delighted to be your MC for this remarkable evening, the Israel Bond Celebration of Heritage and Unity. This global audience participating via Zoom, Facebook Live, YouTube, and the Jewish Broadcasting Services is the largest ever for a Bonds event of any kind, virtual or otherwise. Congratulations to all of you. You are now a part of history. Thousands of you from the US, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil are participating in this amazing event, the first in a series of diverse and exciting Israel Bonds virtual programs centered around the most singular time of the year, the high holidays. We are gratified by the participation of so many synagogues representing all streams of Judaism, as well as the many organizations dedicated to Israel as a nation, and as a society. Tonight's occasion, featuring Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Ambassador Ron Dermer, renowned Israeli performers David Dor and Gil Shohat, and inspiring rabbinical blessings from around the world, representing the exceptional programming only Israel Bonds can provide. Now that is added value of being an Israel Bonds supporter. Now, throughout this evening and the program, you will see phone numbers and websites for Israel Bonds in the U.S., in Canada, and abroad to assist you in making an investment in Israel Bonds. During an evening in which the all-encompassing theme of unity is being highlighted throughout, Israel Bonds are a wonderful means of giving and giving in a meaningful way and expressing your feelings for Israel. Israel Bonds registered representatives in the U.S. are available to assist those of you in the United States right now. They will continue to help facilitate Israel Bond investments until 11.30 p.m., so the night is young. Now, it is with great pleasure that I turn the program over to U.S. and international chairman of the board, Howard Goldstein. Howard, I think you're muted. Howard, try to unmute yourself. So Howard, we still cannot hear you, unfortunately. This is the chairman of the board. We will try to get that resolved. Please bear with us just a few technical difficulties we have here. All right, excuse us for those technical difficulties. We will be back with Howard later in the evening. You know what it's like with Zoom. It is now my privilege to present the Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. Chairman of the board, Howard Goldstein, and all the leaders of uh, Israel Bonds, through you, I want to thank all the team at Israel Bonds for what you are doing this year and for what you do each year. 70 years ago, David Ben-Gurion appeared at New York Madison Square Garden to launch the inaugural issue of Israel Bonds. Even he, Israel's uh, founding prime minister, could not have foreseen the extraordinary success of Israel Bonds. Since your founding, Israel Bonds has played a crucial part in supporting the development of Israel's economy. We see this today with Israel Bonds accepting the finance ministry's request for an expanded goal of $1.7 billion for 2020. Well, I know these are not ordinary times. It's a, it's a period of global economic uncertainty, and Israel's bond staff have, worked, uh, have been forced to work remotely from home. But despite this, you've already exceeded $1.2 billion for 2020, typically the result of a normal year's efforts. Well, I'm not surprised. Over the years, I've met many times with bonds leadership. I know your commitment. I know your dedication. 
I know your passion for the state of Israel. You've been with us over the decades, in good times and in bad. You've assisted us in overcoming economic challenges, and you've helped the Israeli economy to become the amazing success story for what it is. And I want to thank you for something else. The bonds played a crucial role in the founding years of Israel's economy. We changed the Israeli economy. Uh, we made it a free market economy, uh, um, an economy of first-rate innovators, the startup nation of the world. So we are perhaps not as dependent as we were in previous days, but we are dependent on the bonds between the Jewish people and the state of Israel. And Israel bonds, in addition to its economic role, also keeps those bonds alive. I want to thank you for all of that. Keep it up. Thank you. Good evening to all of you. I'm Israel Maimon, the president and CEO of Israel Bonds. And thank you all for joining us. I'm excited. The words of the prime minister have underscored the essential need for Israel Bonds, especially in these days. And I want to thank Prime Minister Netanyahu for addressing us during these intense days. You all know the saying about having uh, two Jews in one room. Well, you ask him a question, you get three answers. Definitely, they are politicians. And most definitely, if they are Israeli politicians. And I know something about it since I was the government secretary for two prime ministers, Ariel Sharon and David Olbrich. Benjamin Netanyahu and Shimon Peres were back then cabinet ministers. Labor Party, Likud Party, Kadima Party. Well, as is usual with Israeli politics, consensus is not easy to come by. Well, I was working with them in one room, with all the four. And when it came to the need and appreciation of Israel bonds, they spoke in one voice. As the Prime Minister stated, Israel needs us. It needs our solidarity, it needs our unity, and needs our investments. So visit our websites or call the numbers you see below and do your part. You can also do a double mitzvah, two great deeds. If your synagogue or favorite organization is with us this evening, I am sure they would love donations of Israel bonds. Now, it is with great pride that I present Ambassador Ron Dermer, an outstanding diplomat, well known to all of us. Since being posted to Israel's embassy in Washington, Ambassador Dermer served with distinction and honor. As we celebrate the establishment of formal ties between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, we applaud Ambassador Dermer for his instrumental behind the scene role in bringing this historic accord to fruition. Throughout the years, Ambassador Dermer has been a, grew, uh, it has been a great true friend of Israel Bonds, the only organization with a mandate to build and develop the economic foundations of the world's only Jewish state. He is a passionate and eloquent speaker. Let's listen to his important message, and I want to thank you and wishing you all Shana Tova. Greetings from the Embassy of Israel in Washington, D.C. Uh, greetings to the supporters of Israel bonds across the world. Special greetings to Howard Goldstein, to Israel Maimon, to Zev Rubenstein, and to everyone at Israel Bonds uh, for celebrating 70 years of support for the State of Israel. We just got some great news a few days ago where the United Arab Emirates became the third country to announce that they would be normalizing their ties and effectively making peace with the State of Israel following Egypt, 
1979 and Jordan in 1994. So it's been over a quarter century since the last time an Arab state said that it would normalize its relations uh, with the state of Israel. And I want to thank all of you at Israel Bonds for your role in making that happen. And let me tell you why you had a role in making that happen. Because as Prime Minister Netanyahu has said for many, many years, in fact, for decades, he said no one makes peace with the weak. They make peace with the strong. And you at Israel Bonds, you've made Israel stronger by investing in Israel decade after decade after decade, investing in our development, enabling us to not only strengthen our economy, but to be able to have the resources we need to invest in our own security because you were there for us. And you were there for us in good times and bad, in lean years and in fat years, making sure that we could develop into the country the remarkable global technological power that Israel is today. So from the beginning, three generations of supporters of Israel bonds have been partners with us. And because of that strength, we now have days like we had just last week, where an Arab state recognizes that, you know what, it's good to make peace with Israel. It's good for them, it's good for the region, and I think it's very good for the world. And I want to thank you for your support of Israel bonds and encourage you to continue uh, to support Israel bonds so that we can continue to enhance Israel's security, to strengthen Israeli prosperity, and yes, to expand the circle of peace. Thank you so much, Ambassador Dermer, for your inspiring words. These are indeed historic times that we are living in. The Israel-UAE normalization agreement that the ambassador spoke of is a transformative event for Israel and for the entire region, the entire Middle East. And joining us now to explain this, excite, the, this exciting event, the exciting implications around it, is one of Israel's finest journalists, Alon Ben David. Alon is a senior defense correspondent for Israel's Channel 13. We are fortunate to hear his insight on this defining moment in Israel's history. Please listen. Good evening. Delighted to be with you all with thousands of participants from all across the US, Canada, and Latin America. I've had the privilege in the past to appear in numerous Israel Bonds events, and I'm always impressed by your dedication, commitment, your sense of purpose, and I wanted to start by thanking you for what you're doing on behalf of Israel. This is not taken for granted. Now, these are very exciting times for us in Israel. The peace agreement that was announced between Israel and the United Arab Emirates is a major, major breakthrough for Israel and its acceptance in the region. A Sunni country, one of the leading countries, stepping out to the light, exposing its very intimate relations with Israel and is willing to sign a peace agreement. We never had that in the last 25 years since we signed the peace agreement with Jordan. And this is as important. UAE is a leading country in the Sunni world. It has influence across its borders. And we believe that the UAE will not stay alone in this. We are expecting more nations to follow the path of the UAE, such as Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Oman, Sudan, Israel is being accepted in the region and is becoming a part of an Arab Sunni Israeli axis which is going to counter the Shiite axis uh, led by Iran. Now the breakthrough with the UAE has already uh, broke an axiom that any progress with the Arab world could only be achieved through addressing the Palestinian issue. In this case, yes, we have taken the issue of annexation of the West Bank off the table right now, which allowed us to make progress with the UAE. But I believe these are great news for Israel, and we are very hopeful about the future cooperation that we're going to have with many of the neighboring countries. And eventually, we believe that this might help us even solve the Palestinian issue. So right now, the main effort is to agree on all the details for signing a declaration of principles, which will probably uh, be held in a ceremony in Washington, D.C., and it's going to take place before U.S. elections, before November. So we are working on achieving that. We are transferring the secret ties that we had with the UAE, run by Mossad, 
to our foreign ministry in Israel and are beginning uh, working on the normalization between the two countries. And as I said, we believe that more will follow. So this is a very exciting moment in the history of our country. And we are, we are very hopeful that the coming year in Israel will be even more exciting with more breakthroughs in the region and with a supportive administration in the U.S. So once again, I want to thank you all. Wish you very good health and may you all have a Shana Tova. Thank you so much, Alon Ben David, reporter at Channel 13, for giving us that really great context and insight. And I think more evident than anything, the excitement that so many Israelis are sharing these days. Now get ready for a special musical performance from celebrated Israeli artists David Dor and Gil Shohat. David is a multi-award winning vocalist who was named Israel's Singer of the Year on three separate occasions and Gil is a famed pianist and composer internationally applauded for exquisite compositions that include highly acclaimed operas and symphonies. Enjoy their moving interpretation of Avinu Malkenu. My friends, the brothers and sisters of the Israeli Bonds community, I'm so honored to have you. First of all, a great friend, and we worked together for so many years. Second of all, literally now, seal your ears, because I'm going to give you a huge compliment. Uh -huh. One of the best, most beautiful, most enchanting voices of the world, not Israel, much beyond the borders of the state of Israel, a truly uh, international, grand voice of the one and only David Aol. Thank you so much, Gil. Thank you so much. It's a great honor to be honored to be here singing with you, one of the best musicians in the world. <laughs> Thank you. you see? Uh, Shana Tova. Yeah. Shana Tova Rosh to our Shana. sisters and brothers. May we have a great, great year after this difficult time. We deserve it. And we pray for good times to come. And we miss you here in Israel. We hope next year to celebrate together here in Jerusalem.
I'm sure you all enjoy that beautiful, inspiring performance. And hopefully next year we can all be together watching that live in person. Now we have come to the spiritual portion of our program, a time for inspiring words and blessings for the new year, for the Shana HaChadasha. Truly global in scope, we will hear Rabbi David Wolpe of Sinai Temple in Los Angeles, a remarkable gathering of international rabbis reciting Shirem Ha'alot, a beautiful rendition of Shirem Ha'alot from the Vidor, and stirring words from the chief rabbi of Russia, Rabbi Beryl Lazar. The Torah teaches us that God sends a bracha and a klala, a blessing and a curse. Sometimes they're interwoven. And the curse is in the blessing, a gauntlet with a gift in it, as the poet said. This year, we've had very, very difficult times, but in them there has been blessing. We've been able to reach across the seas through technology and been able to touch one another with words of wisdom and words of Torah. Throughout the years, Israel Bonds has enabled us to do that each year to touch our friends in Israel with our confidence and our resources and our faith. Once again, this year, we join together. Shana Tova, may it be a year of health, of hope, and of healing for all Israel and all the world. Shela Ma'alot, Esa Einai Elearim, Ezri, Me'im Adonai, brothers and sisters, friends of the Israeli Bans, we're standing at a very difficult time in history, a difficult time for the Jewish people, a difficult time for Israel. But there's no question that with your help, tomorrow is going to be different. We're at the threshold of a new year, 
First of all, I would like to wish each one of you a Shana Tova, a happy and healthy new year. That this new year should bring only blessings and good tidings to each one of you. Israeli bonds has done for Israel probably what nobody else did. But even more important, as the Alter Rebbe, the first Lubavitch Rebbe, taught us that helping our brothers in Israel, charity for Israel, is the highest level of tzedakah. So I have no doubt that every dollar that you invest in Israel is going to bring a lot of blessings to you and to your family. Israel is going through a difficult time, and we need to think of our brothers, how we can help them, how we can make Israel thrive economically, spiritually, that they should feel the support of every single Jew around the world. And I'm sure that from above, you're going to receive all the blessings for abundance, health, happiness, nachas from your dear ones. And this new year should bring a lot of good news to each one of you. It should all be blessed for everything good that you do, every mitzvah that you do. Hashem should bless you tenfold. Shana Tova. Shalom. My name is Susan Weikers, and I join you from my home in Baltimore, Maryland. I've been privileged to participate in the national leadership of Israel Bonds in several capacities over the years, and currently serve as the treasurer of the International Board and a member of the National Campaign Advisory Council. The high holidays give us as Jews an opportunity basically to reflect, to reflect on our lives. This evening has brought us the real spirituality of our holiday. It has helped us take a look at where we are today. Rosh Hashanah gives us an opportunity not only to reflect on our lives and our families and our surroundings, but it also gives us an opportunity to start afresh because we take the time to ask for forgiveness for our sins. This year, unlike many other years, we find ourselves facing all kinds of challenges. A pandemic, social changes, and we find that we're also unable to gather with our families, to gather with our communities, something that we have always done, especially during holidays. Everything has changed. And yet we are finding new ways to continue. We live our lives and our traditions in other ways as we're doing tonight. Tonight, we are meeting remotely. I've long thought that buying Israel bonds was like buying Jewish insurance. We buy insurance for protection. And my friends, we buy Israel bonds for Jewish protection. It's basically Jewish insurance. A strong Israel protects the Jewish people worldwide. And in these days, when unfortunately and tragically, we witness anti-Semitism on the rise, our voices and our actions are needed. This is the time of year as we approach Rosh Hashanah to make an investment in the future, the future of our families and the future generations. This is a perfect time to buy that insurance by investing in the state of Israel and keeping Israel strong. And when we do that, we additionally care for ourselves. No one can predict the future, but having insurance means that you and your loved ones can prepare for any eventuality. 
It is easier than ever to invest in Israel bonds. You can do it right from your computer. You can do it sitting on your couch. You can do it on an app on your phone. You can do it by pulling that virtual tab on your for your synagogue. You can buy Israel bonds. You can gift Israel bonds. You love your synagogue? Give them an Israel bond. You love a charity? Give them an Israel bond. You love somebody who's getting married? Buy an Israel bond. Bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, birth of a newborn. A million reasons and a million ways to buy a bond. You heard the prime minister this evening. We have an expanded goal. That means we have to sell even more bonds than ever before. And what are we asking? Ben Gorion said, there isn't enough free money in the world to sustain and build the state of Israel. But if the Jews and the non-Jews will think of Israel as a good investment, then we have more income. Well, Israel has proven to be a very good investment, my friends, and we are very honored to have been the ones to sell those bonds. So I am hoping that you will continue to help us. And as I've often said, it is always the right time to buy an Israel bond. Please consider investing this evening along with me. David Ben-Gurion also said something very poignant. He said, in order to be a realist, you have to believe in miracles. Let us keep the miracle of Israel alive. La Shana Tova, and may we all gather in our beloved Israel soon. Shalom. Neshana Babi Yerushalayim. Thank you so much, Susan. And my heartfelt gratitude goes out to anyone and everyone investing in Israel bonds. Our next blessing this evening will be delivered by Rabbi Rosie Heim, creator of Celebrating Jewish Life in Cleveland. Hi, I'm Rabbi Rosie Heim from Celebrating Jewish Life in Cleveland, Ohio. I wanna wish you, your family, the whole family of the Jewish people and all people a great new year. L'shana tova, happy, healthy. May this be a year of striving for good things and may we together find peace. Shana tova. We'd now like to try to speak once again and hear from Howard Goldstein, from the chairman of the board, who would like to address you this evening. Please, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear one more time from Howard. One more time from Howard. One more time from Howard. Hey, Dad, turn your volume down. We have some volume problems. Let's Good see evening. if we can just get this fixed. Yes. Thank Good you, evening. Michelle. Good evening to each and every one of you. The fact that I'm one of several thousand participants spanning all these cities across the countries and two continents underscores what has made Israel Bonds such an extraordinary 70-year success story. The not-so-secret reason is this. Wherever we live, wherever we do, wherever we are, our global family brought together as one appreciation to each and every one of you. I want, to, I want to recognize tonight the many synagogues and organizations that are with us this evening and express appreciation to the rabbis, chairman. I also welcome the many state treasurers who have acquired millions of dollars in Israel bonds on behalf of their respective states and the officials of each and every bank that have worked so tirelessly with Israel Bonds for our finance program. 
I would be remiss if I didn't recognize our incredible professional staff who gets us here to this point and forward every single day, and especially our leader, President and CEO, Israel Maimon. It's proud that I can call him our friend. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was growing up in New Jersey, the idea that I would one day be introducing the Prime Minister of Israel would have seemed inconceivable. Yes, it is my honor to do just that. Each and every day, Israel's in my heart. I've been on delegations to Israel with most of you, where we have heard the Prime Minister Netanyahu's strong words of appreciation for Israel bonds in all of its aspects, its mission, its devoted lay leaders and staff, and of course, the organization's historic legacy of including the historic peace agreement with the UAE, the Prime Minister specifically requested this opportunity on this launch to express appreciation to our Israel Bonds organization. So thus, it's always been my privilege, it's always been my aliyah, it has been my honor to represent this organization and so, so uh, overwhelmed that we were able to present the Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, to all of the thousands on this call tonight. Am Israel Chai. Am Israel Chai. Thank you so much, Howard. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been inspired on so many levels this evening, motivational, spiritual, and communal. Now, get ready to be uplifted. If you're not already, which hopefully you are, one last time as we conclude with a soaring aerial video of the wonderful nation that we all support and love. As a reminder, you can continue to support Israel by calling the numbers that you've seen on the bottom of your screen or visiting the websites you've seen throughout the evening. And also be sure to join us for our next event, which will take place Tuesday, September 15th at 8 p.m. New York time. So I hope to see you there. It will be a glorious celebration of Jerusalem featuring Finance Minister Israel Katz, Jerusalem Mayor Moshe Leon, and an emotional encounter with the family of Dr. Itzhak Ifat, who is the famed paratrooper who gazed in wonder at the Kotel when Jerusalem was liberated. Now, until next time, Leitraot, Laila Tov.